it didn't work on a daily basis. Uh, we would meet every three or four or six months, whatever, whatever was mandated or, or needed. And we would discuss the story from the, in the future, into the future. And uh, there, sometimes there were differences of opinion. Uh, nothing, only, only on one or two occasions did it really get, really get uh, very violent, uh, for lack of a better word. But uh, generally speaking, they, 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 there were disagreements. But, uh, but Procter & Gamble, it's a very class outfit. They, again, uh, I can't say enough for Bob Short and Ed Trock, with whom I worked and Erna worked for most of our, our life. It's great Procter & Gamble. They, they, just, uh, they, they brought their points of view, but they listened to reason. They wouldn't always buy reason, but most of the time they did. And it was uh, it was just a, a delight working with them, and and there's no question that their imprint helped make it a better show. Well, the reason I ask is because the name P and G conjures up conservative to some people, and you're sort of known as a guy who pushes the envelope. Having um, your own power now, it must be easier. But thinking back then, you said that it got violent a couple of times. Who won those confrontations? Was it the sponsors or was it the show, the writers? Well, it it. The violence didn't come from the, the, the or, or I suppose violence is, is the word, if it's not not no, the normal word, but the, the way we use it. But it, it, Ted Corday, the director, sometimes injected himself, and when he injected himself, um, uh, he he said too much undip, undiplomatically. Uh, on one occasion that I can remember, that that took a while to heal, and and uh, and, uh, and it was really he was attacking the scripts, and and uh, and of course you usually look to your director as being supportive, and uh, but th but there was only one such occasion like that, but it was it was a uh, it was a hell bent for election occasion.